I've just been thinking about these two questions about um, what a 21st century teacher needs to know and their prowess being assessed. And um, what I've done, I think the right might be a bit small, but what I've done is what the things in purple are the things that I think they need to know and the things in green are the things to do with assessment. Um, if, um, when I looked at the question, it talks about what a teacher needs to know, and I'm not sure knowledge is always the, the answer. It may be to do with skills, and it may be to do with understanding, and their own philosophical beliefs. So, um, if, uh, Theo, could you click on purposes? If, um, if ICT was learning with it, learning about it, teaching with it, or administering with it, I think sometimes what happens is we've just sort of blurred all of ICT and technology and informatics and all of it together into this thing that as long as there is a computer or a digital technology available, therefore we must be learning and the children must be learning and it must be going well. And I think that the latest thing about computer programming is almost kind of knocked all that sideways as well because really in the end, if you're learning how to program, you're just learning about ICT, but that has no relevance necessarily if you're a maths teacher or an English teacher or an art teacher. But ICT is still, or digital technologies are useful tools which will help you learn. And um, would you mind going back? <laughs> and, uh, Did you say which school you're from? Uh, I didn't, but Heaton Primary in Bradford. Um, so, so my first thing is why are we using digital technologies? And I'm not sure that bit is really made clear. And if we're going to ask people going into the profession or people working in the profession, to, to use digital technology, I think they have to be clear because I see a lot of times on lesson plans, people will say, oh, and I used the whiteboard, oh, and I did this, and therefore I, 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 something must have happened there with the technology, and that just seems to me a bit of a confusion. Um, and I think that goes along with that. Theo, would you mind clicking on that impact two quote as well? You, you see a lot of this sort of thing. Um, this was impact two where it said um, high ICT use will give you a fraction of a level difference. So oh, is, that, is that significant? Is it really worth all the investment? But also, what is high ICT use? What does anybody really mean by that? And often they just thought there were some computers in the room and that school's levels were higher, and they drew a correlation which was no correlation. So we kind of need better research. Could you go back? <laughs> um, so why are we using it? And then the, the next thing I thought about was um, knowing um, uh, sorry, digital expertise, and what I think is that you see a lot of master's programs which give you a lot of ideas about pedagogy and theory and it's, you know, all, all the reasons why we should use it, but it doesn't mean that anybody is competent in any particular skills. And, and I see a lot of teachers sort of in the 20 to 30 bracket who are okay with IT, ICT because they can use it, but they aren't expert in any of it and they don't apply themselves to become expert in any of it. And, I, and, I, and, I'm, and nobody can be an expert in anything, but I think that's um, like a mindset. Are you, are you the kind of person who will really invest and become good at it? Um, and, um, and then the last one is, um, yeah, would you mind? Uh, and then just the one that says beliefs. Um, so there was this research um, by Ramos, and I put a link on the Miranda page, where he said teachers with constructive beliefs positively correlated with greater technology integration. And I think there's a thing, not about what do you know about digital technologies, but what do you believe and who are you as a teacher? What kind of teacher do you really want to be? And we were talking earlier about den building and just giving children kind of bits and bobs and saying, go out into the woods and make something. That's exactly the same kind of open-ended, problem-solving, creative just there's exactly the same stuff going on there as a teacher who will then say, oh, there's some technology which I might use. And I think what we've done is we've sort of narrowed it down into saying, y you go into a room and you do technology, or you go into a room and you do some something else. From a primary point of view, I see no, the, the barriers are, are just entirely arbitrary and need to kind of find some more, just, just find some, build, build some better connections, really, between all the different subjects. And then the last thing, can I just go back? So if there are the things that you need to understand what kind of teacher you want to be, you need to know why you're using it, and you need to know what you believe about, um, and then you need some expertise in it, then my assessment things would be, um, and this may be for people who are entering teaching, but some form of portfolio um, 
from your practice, um, hopefully by working in partnership with other teachers, perhaps looking at some kind of badge or certification that would, that would help you um, demonstrate that you had expertise in a bit of software. And then the final thing, and I've been very vague here, but some kind of classroom impact measurement tool. Stats. Sorry? Stats. No, 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 because I've interpreted this not about children's assessment, but about teachers' assessment. So how do, how do teachers demonstrate that they are becoming better? Now, I, I don't think the teacher observations necessarily do that. I don't think Ofsted necessarily does that. But, but some kind of environment where um, each is the expression of iron sharpening iron, iron that is one, um, one practitioner rubs off against another practitioner and has to demonstrate what they're doing and communicate what they're doing to others, then potentially there's an opportunity for them to learn and, and uh, improve their practice. So that's what I'm saying.